Two refugees from Iraq are due in court today to face federal charges related to supporting terrorism. One of the men was arrested in Sacramento, the other in Houston. Investigators say one suspect went to the Syrian city of Aleppo to fight in the Civil War and returned to the U.S. two months later. The arrests are now sparking a new debate over bringing refugees from Syria and other countries to the United States. Jeff Pegues is at FBI headquarters in Washington with a look at these suspects. Jeff, good morning. Well, good morning, law enforcement sources. Expect this heated debate here once again in Washington because they say these arrests expose issues that they have been concerned about for some time. Foreign fighters returning here to the U.S. and then refugees here supporting terrorism. Both of these suspects are accused of lying to do just that. Court documents allege that Omar Faraj Saeed Al-Hardan and Oz Mohammed Yunus Al-Jayab were intent on fighting alongside terrorist organizations in Syria. Both are Iraqi-born refugees. Hardan had been in the U.S. since around November of 2009, while Al-Jayab arrived in October of 2012. According to court documents, in 2012, 23-year-old Al-Jayab used social media to communicate with people inside Syria and expressed his desire to return to Syria to work. He was also allegedly communicating with 24-year-old Al-Hardan, who prosecutors say is associated with members and sympathizers of ISIS. While living in Arizona and Wisconsin, Al-Jayab spent time at a gun range, pleaded for travel funds, and asked online friends for guidance on how to reach Syria. By March 2013, Al-Jayab had a strategy. I am coming to Syria. I have planned a route and everything. In April, he messaged, I am eager to see blood. After receiving a $4,500 insurance settlement in November of 2013, Al-Jayab flew from Chicago to Turkey and then made his way to Aleppo, Syria. But he was wise to American surveillance tactics, telling one associate online, the government is alert for everything. My trip here constitutes a charge. He returned to the U.S. in January of 2014. Late Thursday, the Department of Justice rushed to unseal the documents after the story leaked when Texas Governor Greg Abbott released this statement. This is precisely why I called for a halt to refugees entering the U.S. from countries substantially controlled by terrorists. That leak angered investigators who were still working the case, but there is no indication that the suspects were planning to attack targets here in the U.S. Meanwhile, yesterday there was another similar arrest, and there are more to come. Charlie. Jeff, thanks.